there guys! Today I'll be bringing you a video showing you a random model that I bought. As you can see, this is a land speeder from Star Wars, and it is a Metal Earth uh, model kit. It is a kit that is basically made of sheets of metal that have laser cut pieces that you're able to cut out, bend, and create. Uh, the package this came in looks something like this, by something I mean exactly. Now sadly, if you're looking to buy this model, it's only available in Disney parks because I recently went to Disneyland, but they do make other kits where any vehicle or structure or building you could think of, they have probably made a kit of it. Usually these are fairly simple, and they actually can get pretty hard. I'd say that this, um, this would be something about intermediate. There were some pieces that actually snapped on me, and they didn't stay on because I bent them once and they came off, which was sort of annoying. That only happened uh, twice, and I was able to fix one of them. But we'll take a look at the model, and you'll notice that it's a pretty detailed model. It has uh, laser cut lines and etched pieces, which make it look completely awesome in my voice. But that uh, little stick right there, let's see if I can... That uh, little thing that's sticking forward, there should be a steering wheel on, on the end of that. But uh, the one that I had, it came off, because I went to fold it upright to make it look like a steering wheel in position, and it just snapped off, which I was sort of disappointed with. But, as I said, it's a very detailed model. Uh, I think this one was probably the uh, best looking one there. It had a couple X-Wings and TIE Fighters and all just generic Star Wars ships and vehicles, but I do believe that uh, this was the best looking one and it's my favorite Star Wars ship. Now we'll look at the stand, which is uh, pretty interesting. It has little tabs there, and if you know how these are put together, they're basically uh, built with little tabs that you insert into holes and you bend them 90 degrees so it will stay. And you're supposed to attach this stand to the bottom of the model, but I didn't want to do that, because I figured that if I wanted to pick it up and show my friends there'd just be a big stand on the bottom. And I honestly don't want that, so there's four holes there. Basically what I did is I cut those a little shorter so that they'd fit in there. I'm able to take it on and off freely. So this is just a quick little uh, view of a model that I've bought. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll be bringing more soon.